Welcome to the Coaching Life Timeout. Wade and Lou here. And I want to talk about the second question for those in authority. Uh, is, there, is it safe? Safety, uh, not just physically and equipment wise and your fields and, and the things in your sport, but what about emotionally? What about relationally? Is your program safe? Is it a place where kids come? If I give you my kid to play for you, is it safe? You know, we can easily switch and say, safety means sissy. Well, that's mm. far from true, but it does mean whether we can trust or not. If you don't feel safe in your automobile, then you don't want to take it on a long drive. If you don't feel safe in a relationship, then you shouldn't be in a certain situation with somebody. If you don't feel safe in a, in a value-oriented sales situation or a, a contract relationship, whether you're equally committed in values, then you shouldn't commit to that contract or that marriage or whatever the case is. So safety has many aspects, as you might see it, physically, relationally, yeah. and conscionably in those areas. And the key is, is not whether it's pristine and minimized from any risk. There's risk in everything you do. So if you're a coach and somebody gets injured and you're playing within a responsible frame of safety zones, that's gonna be expected. But if you're way out on the limb and you're asking somebody to do something that's extreme in the heat of a day and they have a heat stroke and you didn't take any precautions, you didn't get enough water, yeah. you're gonna be considered irresponsible and foolish. I mean, there's issues from what's going on in the back of buses. There's hazing issues that are going on with teams today. Do you know what's going on in the dorms uh, when you go to camp? Uh, as a coach, do you know what's going on in the back of the bus? There's horror stories out there that a kid, a younger kid was with the older team and uh, abuse would happen. Uh, is your program safe? Not just physically, emotionally, relationally. It's so important today because if it's safe, what does it produce? Mm -hmm. And that means defining healthy boundaries, rewarding those who honor them and, and take leadership in them and being quick to jump on those who are really a violation of those rules and daring to impress others at the risk of themselves and at the risk of the team. It's also creating an environment where it's safe to come to practice every day because you know you're being pushed, you're being excelled, you're being developed, because if it's not a safe place, I don't really want to be there. Now the sad thing is that safe should not be equated with being politically correct because that now is buying a great deal of integrity and a great deal of initiative that needs to be back in our games and back in our relationships. So safety really is handling risk in a responsible way. Remember, well we're coaching for life. Not just a season.